Hello and welcome to the Home and Learn video course for Visual Basic.net. I'm Kenny Carney and in this first lesson you will download the software, install it and you create a first program that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> but let's make a start. So if you go to the Home and Learn uk website click on to the visual basic.net and we want to download here first of all let me plug my book <laughs> but this is the book version you might want this version which is a book format PDF so you can download that one and then you get all of these extras for free not available on the website it's just if you're buying the book you get all those extras I may do a couple of videos on them I'm not sure but uh, in any case if you want to buy the book here it is let's go back uh, so you go on the visual basic uh, net link and you click here free visual studio express which version do I need so you click on here and then uh, you want this link at the top it's called Visual Studio Community, and that is the free version. So click on here. You'll be taken to the Microsoft website, and the link you want is this one. Download Community 2015. So if you click on here, and it will start the process. Make a box. Yep, yeah, you want to click on there, run. And it will start the installation process. I've already got mine installed. It's not a small download, so it may take uh, quite a while. So you've got to be patient. After you have installed the software, uh, you might come to a screen that looks like this one. Uh, let me show you. Uh, that one. It says choose your color scheme. So you can have blue, dark, or light. It's three choices. As you can always change these settings later, and I will show you how to do that. Uh, depend now. Let me get rid of that one. And then that one. Incidentally, if you'd rather do the text tutorials, you can come here to the contents page, and the entire course is laid out here. And you can do this. I don't know where they've gone. Mm, you can do the course here. I would say for the video course, it's a good idea to do the videos and to do this. If you don't quite understand what's going on in the video tutorial, you can come here because we're going through it section by section. In any case, let's have a look at the software. You should have something like this one. So here, I've already created lots of projects. Here they are under uh, the recent list. But for yours, it should be blank. Uh, after you created a project though it will appear here and you can simply click one of these links and it will open the project or you can go to file recent projects and solutions you can open it there or you can open it from here open project solution incidentally uh, if you want to change the color scheme just like you've seen well, where is it I think it's tools options let's have a look yeah, choose options. You want to be here for the environment. And there's the color theme. Color theme light. If you want it dark, you click OK. And change shortly to that, which I think looks awful. It's too dark for my liking. And click on options. You have the blue one. What does the blue one look like? The blue one's OK. I still like the light version. Let me have a look. Light. There it is. Click OK. Right. Now we want to create a new project. So you can either go here, start a new project, or you can go File, New Project. And go here. And you see the New Project dialog box open up. If you click here for our Visual Basic, and on this one for Windows. You see the Windows Forms application. This is the one you want most of the time. This is what we will be doing most of the time. And go down here and see a name. 
location this is the save location the area on your computer where it's going to save all your projects it will just be that one right up to projects and not that so that's mine let me show you how to change the location first if you go back to your tools and options and I'll track that one I think it's here where's it going I think it's on this one yeah projects and solutions and there's your projects location that is the default location there if you wish to change it click on here that little button and you can select any folder you can create a new folder this is the folder i created earlier that's the one you saw earlier or if you uh, have a network you can click on the network and then you click select folder and that will change this for your default location oh, let me go back to here so you got to file a new project to create a new project windows form application there's the location there's my visual basic projects folder that i created earlier and for the name you type in the name uh let's project lesson i think i've already got one called first project let me have a look uh i already have one no it doesn't there's your first project eventually create this this is the form look at that there is the program you'll see how to start it shortly have a look on here though that is one of the main areas for your toolbox if you can't see it here yours might be i think here it might be on the left hand side and you click on toolbox you see it obscures the form which i don't like so what what you can do is click on this little pin and it will pin it to the left hand side and the one you'll use most is common controls expand that and you'll see all of these controls you can add to a form we'll do that in the next lesson and where we'll be doing a text box and what else do we do a label i think yeah on that one have a look on the right hand side of your software you'll see a solution explorer this is where all the files for your project will be kept and there's your form one there incidentally if you've accidentally closed down your form so you've done this and you can't see it and you're like oh where is my form what have i done have a click in the solution explorer on form one with your right hand mouse button you'll see a menu and click on view designer view designer and you'll get your form back the other area of note this is the one you, we will spend in a lot of time with properties properties if it's looking a bit squashed you can hold your mouse over here the dividing line and drag up and give yourself more room and these are the properties by default it's usually on this one categorize but i like it on this one alphabetical and you will see all of the properties on the left hand side these are the properties themselves and on the right hand side are the values for the properties like text form one some of the properties you can just click inside our oh, text box i guess that is a text box a form one for the text it's here right at the top form one that is the text and if you click inside press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the contents and type whatever you want let's call it my first form and if you press the enter key on your keyboard it will change right at the top my first form one other uh, property i like to set is start position these ones some of these properties are drop down boxes so click here i like center screen and what else can we do have a look at the size it's 300 by 300 by default and you could change the size of the form you can hold your mouse over these white sizing handles and hold down the left mouse button and simply drag to a new position and you'll see the size change there or click on the plus symbol and for width click inside the box delete the contents and you can type a new size new width 400 and let's do the height also 400 
And we've got it has changed size. If you notice up here, you'll see a little tiny star there. It means your project hasn't been saved. So you can have a click on here to save all if you wanted to. And let's start the form. Let's run the project. So you start your form. So let's have a click up here for debug. And you'll see two options. Start debugging. Start without debugging. Try this one first. It tends to be a little bit faster. Let's have a look. Start without debugging. This is your program. It's going to be running. There it is. You have created a program. I'll get that one back up. A first form. And you can click here on the red X to close it down. And you'll be returned back to your design environment. Click on debug again and start debugging this time. Start debugging. See a little bit extra on the right hand side. Diagnostic tools. Look at the memory it's taking up. And for these small programs that we're going to be creating, it's not going to take up a whole host of memory. So don't worry too much about this one. And to close it down again, you can do it on this one. Well, there's a little stop symbol there, stop debugging. Click on that, and it will be back to your form in, design, in the design environment. Right, I think that is enough for a first video. In the next lesson, we're going to take this form and we're going to add, as I said, the text box and the label, and you'll learn more about properties. We'll be doing a whole host of things in the next lesson. I will see you then.